Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about finding the shortest route, and it is literally exactly what it's called. We are finding the shortest route from uh, one vertex to another vertex. Now, this is different than finding a circuit because a circuit will take you from a starting point and get you back to that starting point. From here, you're just finding a, a basically a path. So if I was to say we're at vertex A, how quickly can we get to vertex B? Now, this graph doesn't really have any labels outside of ABC and some numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that this graph, all of the vertices are, we'll just say towns or, or places in a town, and all the edges are the miles separating them. So the way you figure this out is what you're going to do really is you're just going to investigate all the different ways that you can get from vertex A to vertex F. So let's get started. We have to start building our route. So the first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at this 2 and I'm going to look at this 5. And I'm going to see what is the quicker or what is the smaller number because here, remember, we're trying to save time. So we would say that when we were moving to the right here, 2 is going to be smaller. So I'm going to start my route going this way. Okay, now from here we were at C, and when you are investigating all of the different possible routes, it's always good to investigate all the different ways you can get to the vertices. So I was able to get to C in two miles. So I'm at two miles traveled here, and I don't necessarily like that in black. So let me change this to red just so you can kind of see a little better. So two miles. Now from here I'm going to see how quickly I can get to B. Well, a lot of students are saying, well, A to B is the quickest route, but if you notice, it would be five miles, and I can actually get there quicker if I went from A to C to B. So I can get there in four miles. So because of the fact that I was able to get there faster, I'm gonna take this route, okay? Now, the next thing is, how quickly can I get to D? Because remember, I am constantly trying to figure out how to go, and so I'm just basically investigating every vertex. So from B to D, I would have traveled seven miles, because B is four miles traveled, and then three is seven. But the question is, can I get there sooner? And the answer is yes, because I can take from C to D, which would get me there not in seven, but in six miles. And because of the fact that I was able to find a quicker route, this is now going to be my route, and this right here is no longer needed. So that route has pretty much been eliminated or terminated, if you want to call that. Now the next thing is, let's talk about E. How quickly can we get to E? Well, D to E would be a total of 11, but I can get there from C with a total of 8. So C to E would actually be quicker. So I am at eight miles traveled for E. Now the last step we got to do is F, which is our final here. I'm at D, I'm at E. See, I haven't actually terminated, I haven't terminated this route yet because I, it hasn't been proven to uh, be the longer route yet. This one it did, so uh, let's just, um, let's see, from E to F, that would give me a total of 11 miles traveled, or from D to F would give me a total of 10 miles. Well, obviously, 11 is greater, so we're not going to use that. It's different than from EST, so make sure you don't get confused there. So since this would be the longer route, I'm going to terminate this route here. And so my answer is right here. So just to kind of color it a little differently, I went from A to C to D and then to F. And so on a test or something, I would say, what was your route? Well, you went to A. C to D to F with a total of 10 miles. All right, let's try another problem. And of course, there's the answer, so I forgot to clear the page. There it is. All right, so let's say if we're trying to get to Manchester to Nottingham. Now, remember, you have to investigate pretty much every way to get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, 
Okay, Birmingham to Nottingham is away. So the quickest way to get to Birmingham would be 81 miles. Okay, uh, so let me highlight that just so I can show that I went that route. All right, now I'm just going to hold off there because maybe I can get there a lot sooner. Um, let's talk about Buxton. The quickest way I can get to Buxton is right here. This is 25 miles. All right, and there's no better, there's no quicker way to get to Buxton. That's pretty simple because. All right, so that's 25 miles. And Sheffield would be eight. 38, that is. 38. So that's another way we can get there. So as you can tell, we got a, a couple of uh, different routes we can take. Now, notice that pretty much all the roads lead to Nottingham, so we're basically just going to kind of observe and see. So 81 to 49, this is going to be too long. 81 to 49, I think, would be, meaning if we went in this direction, we're looking at uh, 130, I think. 130. It might be 140, but 130. We'll just say 130. If I went Buxton to Nottingham, that would be a total of uh, 71, I believe, miles traveled. And then Sheffield to Nottingham would be a total of 76 miles traveled. Well, it doesn't take, uh, you know, too. It's not too hard to figure out what's going to be the quickest way. It's going to be Buxton. That's going to be our quicker way, and so that means this route and this route we were not going to use. So our overall answer, and I'll just do this in purple, is going to be to Buxton to here with a total of 71 miles driven. All right, last one, and there was homework just in case if you wanted to see it. Let me take that away. Um, at this point in time, you should have you should pretty much get this uh, Wade Bridge, and we'll just say to... Uh, Exeter, I don't know, Exeter, I, 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 we'll just say that. All right, once again, you're going to investigate all the different routes. To get to Plymouth would be 31, so I'm going to highlight that. So here is 31 there. Um, let's see, to Oak, Oakey Hampton, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not, is 41. I can't get there any faster, so that would be 41. Um, and uh, so we got to go here. So I, let's see, that's 41. That's let's see, 31 plus 44. Meaning, if I was to go this route, that would give me 75, I believe. If I went in this direction, in this direction here would give me a total of 63. Okay, so I think I found my shortest route would be right there. So there you go. There you have it. That is finding the shortest route. Basically, in a nutshell, you're just investigating all the different ways you can get there, and you're just finding your shortest route. Thank you.